All right, so how can you avoid and overcome procrastination? What's going on everybody? Your boy Juan Valdez back with another video and today we're going to be going over how you can be more efficient and stop procrastinating on things that you need to get done. There's actually a specific formula that I learned from some of my mentors that has been working really well for me and I figured I'd take some time to kind of share with you guys so you guys can also do the same if you ever find yourself to be procrastinating on doing a lot of things. So for those of you guys that are brand new, welcome on over to my channel. This is the VFAM. The VFAM is a family of individuals that are striving to do a lot more than what society has out for us to do. And one of those things for sure is overcoming procrastination getting it done baby of course drop a like on this video and any questions you guys have about anything that i go over make sure you drop them in the comments below and obviously i'll be getting back to you guys i learned specifically from one of my mentors that one of the best ways that you can overcome procrastination is simply by thinking about the end result right and it's, it's super simple to say that but what does that really come down to so when it comes down to doing anything now this is actually a perfect example when it times to time to work out usually a lot of people including myself sometimes don't want to wake up and don't want to work out right and for me specifically I'll give you guys a quick example for me specifically you know I'm, I've been doing this new routine where I wake up at 6 30 a.m. and then I wake up and then I head straight to the gym and I'll tell you guys what it is not easy to do there's some days where I'm like I just want to hit the snooze button and roll over one of the things I do to that helps me stop procrastinating on working out first example is thinking about the feeling that I get after I work out right because it's a lot easier to work out when I'm looking forward to you know that feeling that I'm gonna get after I'm working out compared to pressing the snooze button and just think about how hard the workout's gonna be how much work it is to get to the gym compared to just rolling over in my bed and a whole lot more right if you associate whatever it is that you have to do with pain instead of the reward automatically you're going to procrastinate it's going to lead to you most likely not getting it done so what you what you always want to do is associate it with massive reward and specific reward right so for example yesterday uh, me and my business partner samir some of you guys may have already heard about our story when we first learned about you know e-commerce and drop shipping right for those of you guys that haven't heard my story real quick uh me and my business partner samir simply saw two 17 year olds that were crushing and selling fidget spinners while we were doing door to door sales and we decided you know we figured what, what did they know that we didn't and that's what kind of led to us i uh, wanted to start learning about e-commerce and drop shipping so for me what i started doing is after long days of you know getting going door to door not getting any sales any results i would end my day by you know going to a, a literally a panera bread and i would go there and simply start looking up you know learning about e-commerce and a whole lot more right and one of the biggest things that helped me was help me getting involved with e-commerce was really thinking about the result right thinking about if i learned e-commerce i can have i can obviously make more money for sure you know i was making maybe like around five to six thousand dollars at the time and so for me i was thinking if i learned e-commerce i could potentially be making you know 10 or 20k a month i had a specific um, goal that I thought that I could accomplish if I got involved in e-commerce so that was the first thing and then the second thing I knew that if I could master e-commerce I could have a lot more freedom and I wouldn't have to spend my days going door to door in the blazing Sun so those are the main things that I thought about when I first you know started you know taking those days where I would go into those Panera bread then spend the time to actually learn about it and that made it a whole lot easier to actually take the time to learn about e-commerce because e-commerce trust me I know a lot of you guys are just getting started it is not easy right to wrap your head around everything specifically for anyone that's you know just brand new to the online business world it's obviously anything brand new usually isn't easy to wrap your head around at first but specifically internet businesses or any kind of business overall like learning how everything is brand new in a brand new field it's not easy right so for me going in day in and day out to a Panera Bread to start wrapping my head around something that you know I had no idea about wasn't easy so I had to find a way to motivate myself to not procrastinate on actually getting it done right on going taking the time to actually learn the information and start taking action and if it wasn't for me you know, using that specific strategy where I was thinking the whole time about the massive reward, I probably would have procrastinated on, would have procrastinated on going to that Panera Bread, taking the hour to learn how to set up a Shopify store, you know, how to find products and all that stuff. So my, a lot of my success on this specific strategy when it comes to procrastination, because honestly, I've had times where I procrastinated on, you know, different opportunities and I ended up losing out a ton. So I know for a lot of you guys watching, 
obviously nobody wants to miss out on anything that's the worst right when you miss out on opportunity that you could easily got your hands on and you know take advantage of and a lot of the reasons why we miss out on a lot of opportunities is because we procrastinate on them so the best way to do it honestly with anything you do is to really always think about you know the result of doing it right out or associated with a reward that was one example of how i did it also working out is another example so if you guys want to work if you don't want to work out right and you have no intentions of working out at all well you can start attaching the idea of you know feeling good and also looking good you know attaching that to working out and that'll make it a lot easier for us to for you to actually get in the gym and you know work out and all that great stuff because even up to date right we have well, now that we're running our e-commerce business, obviously now it's a lot more automated, but we have things that we still have to get done day in and day out and other opportunities that we also we want to be a part of. Now we're obviously able to, you know, take a lot more risk and have, we have obviously a lot now, a lot more resources to, you know, build other businesses, take part in other opportunities. If we procrastinate now, it's it can be a lot more of a bigger loss than procrastinating earlier on when we didn't have as much resources and the reason why is of course you know when you're first getting started procrastinating maybe isn't won't wouldn't be as big of a hit on you you know maybe financially or whatever it is obviously depend on the situation you know maybe maybe physically you not working out now may not be as big of a of a hit for you but when you're older for sure when you don't have as much energy you know, obviously that's going to be, that's a completely different ballgame. It's a lot bigger of a hit to not be in shape when you're older than that is when you're young because obviously the energy, same thing. So before we didn't have much money, so we didn't have really much opportunities that we can be a part of. So procrastinating was, you know, it was okay. Not that I was okay, but it wasn't as big of a hit at that time. Now we have a lot more resource. We have a lot more things that we can do. So if we procrastinate on the wrong opportunity, we can end up losing a lot more than we could have before. So obviously we have to make sure we can consistently not procrastinate and really keep doing it. And I know for a lot of you guys watching, like, again, even for me, sometimes I still procrastinate, but I you have to remind myself like this strategy and doing these specific things that way i can actually get the things that i have to get done one of the best ways you can be more efficient and make more money is by really overcoming procrastination hands down i like to look up to the greats the most successful people and the things that they do the easiest ways that you can also overcome procrastinating on it is honestly just getting started on it once you get started on it you're, you're a lot more ahead than you were before when you were just thinking about doing that specific thing so usually once you get started on something next thing you know you're already halfway done if you guys got any value from this procrastination video and how to overcome it make sure you're jabbing procrastination in the face make sure you're punching it jab it you know what i'm saying procrastination is a bitch 100 hands down so make sure you guys overcome it if you guys got value from this video of course make sure you drop a thumbs up on it also leave me a comment below let me know how you guys also overcome procrastination if you have any other ways that i didn't you know talk about how you guys do it because i'm always interested to see how other people overcome procrastination because even for me you know, when it comes to different topics, there's always constantly have to find new ways to, you know, again, attach the reward to whatever the new thing is that I have to do. So I'm always interested to see how other people overcome it. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the V fam, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.